Good day, my name is Terry Smith and in this video I'll be demonstrating how to configure your DHCP to your Windows Server as well as connecting client machines to use the feature. Let's begin. As you can see here, I have the Server Manager open but before we actually configure the DHCP, we'll have to add the feature to our Windows Server Manager. We do this by clicking Manage and adding our rules and features. In the rules and features wizard, you click next. Select your installation type as rule base. So make sure it's selected. And then click the DHCP feature. Here it will tell you a list of stuff or features that will be installed with the DHCP configuration. You check off the restart destination server automatically if required and install. After the feature has been installed, you can close the application. To the left hand side of the server manager, you'll see that the DHCP tab has been created. Now, we can configure our DHCP to our Windows Server. Go to Tools and DHCP. In our DHCP window, we will see beneath us is our Windows Server. And to configure this, we will be configuring it through using the IPv4 setting. Here, it will tell you that you will need to configure the DHCP server. Simply do this by creating a new scope. You give a scope a name. Then, you'll be prompted to include an IP range. After including your IP range, you'll be asked for any IP exclusions. You will leave all least length or least duration at the default 8 days. And then for the DHCP configuration option for the scope, you leave it as yes, I want to configure these options now. For the default router gateway, unless you're using a router, you can leave it blank. And for the domain name and DNS server, as you can see here, I'll be using my parent domain, thai.com. We will not be using any Win servers. And I like to activate my school. Now, as you can see here, all the HTTP servers have been configured. Now that our DHCP server has been configured, you can now add client machines or add the DHCP feature to client machines. Let's go to our first client machine.
In our first plant machine, we navigate to our network security tools. Go to properties. And edit our settings. On the IP settings, edit IP settings. Search it the DHCP automatic. And if you run an IP config command, you will see that all the TP settings has now been added to our client machine. The TP has been enabled, yes. And here's our automatically generated IP address. Let's try it for a second class machine. Open that to an internet settings. Properties. And edit the setting. As you can see here, the CPS has also been enabled for this client machine. And our IP address has been automatically generated. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to my channel.